Today is Wednesday the 9th of December and uh, we are getting near the end of the second week of the COP. Uh, the sounds that you can hear behind me are the award every day that the Climate Action Network gives to the country that has done the worst or has held back negotiations and I believe they're giving it to Canada uh, for supporting the lack of progress on the loss and damage text which the developing countries have put forward. Uh, the developed countries are saying that they either want it deleted or they want it watered down to such an extent that it isn't uh, uh, anywhere near what the developing countries perceive to be required. So we've just got the new text. It's come down from 43 pages to 29 pages. But unfortunately, the sections that uh, I'm most interested in, which is the loss and damage section on Article 5, has not changed at all. There's a little footnote that says negotiations uh, or discussions with political discussions amongst ministers is still going on, uh, which means they're happening behind closed doors and we have no, no knowledge of what is happening. Uh, they might bring a text back to us this evening. There will be a reconvening of the negotiations late tonight. Um, and the French president, uh, presidency, the, pres the foreign minister of France, Laurence Fabius, really does want us to finish tomorrow, um, which I think is a good thing. He's asking all the countries to uh, bring their cards, final cards, on the table immediately. Uh, we had a very interesting and I thought very good speech today by Secretary of State John Kerry, who knows this issue very, very well. He was in Kyoto. I had the privilege of meeting him in Kyoto many years ago. He knows climate change very well. He gave an excellent speech. I thought it was a, a master class in, in describing the problem and the diplomacy that's needed. And he also announced $800 million uh, U.S. contribution to vulnerable countries, which is very welcome. Not nearly enough, uh, close to the $50 billion that we're asking for, but it takes us forward. So it's given us momentum. We still have um, another 36 hours perhaps to finish up. Hopefully we can do it in 24 hours as the French want us to do. Uh, so we are now all taking bets on when uh, this uh, jamboree here in Paris will end. Um, previous experience uh, leads us to believe it won't end on time. It will go into Saturday and possibly Sunday. However, one of the high ambition elements that we are putting forward here are include the one and a half degree goal the loss and damage one of the highest ambition goals is finishing on time and that would be a great ambition to fulfill if we could manage we shall see this time tomorrow i'll be able to tell you whether we are finishing on time or not